we get started. Um, okay. I will okay. call this meeting to order at 4.06. And um, shall we play Say the Pledge of Allegiance all separately? No. All right. No, we all did um, it. We pledge allegiance anyway, don't we? Thank you. Um, all right. And yes. Lynn, would you please take roll? Uh, Mrs. Antonick. Here. Mrs. Berry. Here. Mrs. Fawaz. Where are you? Sawa? Oh. Here. Oh. Sorry, I was okay. muted. Um, and I wasn't looking up. So, uh, Mr. Garcia. I hear him. I don't hear him. You're muted, too. Here. Okay. Mrs. Kaminsky. Here. Mrs. Krasanik. Here. Okay. And myself, uh, Madam President, you have a quorum. Thank you. And... Um. Go ahead, Lynn. Um, I motion to approve the amended agenda of the executive session of April 30th, 2020. Support. Support. We have a motion from Ms. Senia, supported by Mrs. Krasanik, that um, we, uh, I have to remember exactly how you said that, uh, that we approve the amended agenda from oh. when? Of the executive session of, of executive April 30th. Session of April 30th. Thank you very much. Um, is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries. Okay. Now, are we, are we, uh, do we have any kind of request here for open or closed or are we just open? We have the motion to go closed right now, we Madam President. Closed. Okay. Yes, we have, we have the motion to go closed. Yes. Madam President. Yes. I move that the Crescent Board of Education go into closed session for the purpose of um, consideration of written legal opinion of Council for Settlement Agreement. Support. Um, well, there were two of you there. Uh, we have a motion from Mrs. Krasanik with support from, was that you, Nadia? Yes. Yeah, but that's whatever. This is um, Barry that uh, we go into closed session for the discussion of con or for consideration of written legal opinion of counsel to for settlement agreement. I'm sorry, this is too far away for me to read. For settlement <laughs> agreement. Um, would you take role on that, please, Lynn? Yes, Mrs. Antonick. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, Mrs. Berry. Yeah. Mrs. Fawaz. Yes. Mr. Garcia. Yes. Mrs. Kaminsky. Yes. Mrs. Krasanik? Yes. And myself is a yes. We do have a quorum on that. No, Motion I carries. Up and call Motion carries. All right, so we have done the personnel report. We're back in open session. And at this time, are there any public comments, Dr. Youssef or Dr. Youssef, Dr. Masalam? Are we going to uh, vote think, on it? Yeah, we have, you to, have vote to go to the vote first, uh, Madam we Chair. Didn't vote, oh, we didn't vote. Yes, I'm sorry. No. Um, okay, then all those in favor. I thought we did. All those in no. favor. No, we, we, somebody has to motion. There has to be a Madam motion. Chair. Madam Chair. <laughs> Madam Chair. Madam yes, Chair. Yes, I, Nadia. I move that the Crestwood Board of Education approve the settlement agreement for Michelle Vollmer as presented in the written legal opinion of counsel. Support. Oh. Okay, thank you. We have a motion from Mrs. Berry, supported by Mrs. Kaminsky, that the Crestwood Board of Education approve the settlement agreement for Michelle Volmar as presented in the written legal opinion of counsel. Is there any discussion? Uh, well, we already discussed what I was going to discuss. Anything further? Um, well, actually, was there any way to change the recommendation to reference? No, nobody. We're, we're we're voting on this. We're voting okay. on this. Yeah. So, if there's no other further questions, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Aye. <clears throat> so that was a no. Motion. That was a no. Was great. Motion carries. Then, thank you. Um. Everybody got that straight. Linda got it. did all that. I got yep. all, I had marked down voting for um, opening and closing the meeting. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you have me as opposed, right? I do. Six to one. Thank you. That's what I put down. Um, at this time, any public comments? You Madam Chair, at this time, there are no co public comments, and therefore, I am going to turn off the public comment form. Uh, so at uh, 4.42 p.m., 
on April 30th, 2020, there are no public comments. Okay, thank you. Um, moving on then to board comments. Madam, Madam President. Chair. Um, well, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trump you for this one time, if you don't <laughs> mind. I have something I need to say. She's and just because you raised your hand doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> <You caught me. laughs> okay. Um, uh, Sawa, this has a lot. This is about. This has to do with you. Okay. Um, the board is aware of it. Um, I have been made aware, as the board has, that you have again contacted the district's legal counsel in violation of the bylaws. Uh, this, and oddly enough, I wrote this has been discussed before. And you happen to remember when it was discussed. I don't think I could have. Um, it's policy section 1191, which clearly states only the president or superintendent is authorized to contact the attorney on legal matters concerning the district. The board's legal counsel shall not provide personal legal assistance to individual board members, the superintendent, or members of the staff unless specifically authorized by the board. Um, as I said, this is not this is the second time that that we've had a problem with this. Um, also, it's come to my attention that you have accused the board of collectively meeting and supporting a certain candidate that's running in this next election. Um, you have re you have said that you were concerned about a violation of the Open Meetings Act. This is what I was told that you were concerned about a violation of the Open Meetings Act. Um, and if that true, if that was the case, my I guess my biggest question is why didn't you come to me or to one of your fellow board members and voice that concern instead of running and contacting legal counsel that you had you had no authority to do to begin with. Um, for the record, the truth is that board members had individual phone calls made to them from a candidate, um, and that was as I said, individual. Uh, nobody ever met at any board at any candidate's house, as also was suggested. And to insinuate anything else insults the integrity of us all. And um, for future reference. This was not, uh, this was up for, this was being discussed of, for censure, which is, which is not something any board member wants to have done. Uh, this, the board was lenient in deciding just to have a chat with you about it and then uh, go from there. But in the future, I can see where they wouldn't be as lenient. And that's what I have to say about Madam that. Chair. Madam yeah. Chair, so can I respond to you what um, you just said? I think Nadia, did you jump in, Nadia? Yeah, I would. Of course. Oh, uh, that's not fair. No, 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 no. This play by no. the book, kids. Well, actually, Ed was first, then I, then Nadia, then Sawa. I did not okay. hear Ed. I, I did not hear any of them either, but go on. Madam Chairman, I will relinquish my question and wait till the end and allow other board members to ask theirs. Thank you, Nadia. Are you there, Nadia? Are you there, Nadia? I'm here now. Okay. Did you hear me or no? No. We can. Now we can. Okay. No, I can hear you. Well, well I, what I wanted to say is, an American citizen, it is my right to endorse who I want to endorse and to talk to who I want to talk to. And to make such an accusation during a pandemic, which is illegal to uh, to meet with anybody, is is it, it's just wrong. Totally Madam wrong. Chair? Grasping for straws. Thank you. Madam Chair. To Kaminsky. I will go further. I feel it's slander. I have never been at the house that I was accused of being at. I don't know where that person lives. That person has been at my house as an invited guest. I do not violate Open Meetings Act. I resent being talked about. And I would encourage anyone to call me because I have no problem sharing my opinion with anyone. Mm. Madam Thank President. You. Yes, um, Ms. Denia. I just want to agree with Nadia and Sue on those on what they have said. I have never met with any of you guys since our last meeting. And had a phone call been made to me or to anybody, I can I could have told you. I've never seen him. 
I mean, I've never seen somebody in person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a Zoom meeting. We didn't have, I'm not done yet. We didn't have a Zoom meeting. We didn't have a conference call. Um, I haven't talked to anybody, any one of you, except for one-on-one. Right. So to be, I'm very insulted by that. I'm very insulted that I was accused of violating something I didn't, and to go to an attorney. Okay, I'm, I'm done. And Thank wait a minute, one more thing. One-on-one was not about this issue with any one of you. Okay. No, it was not. And I, I'm pissed. I, I just got to tell you, I am absolutely I, living. My blood pressure's up a little bit right now. Well, I know everybody's angry, justifiably so. Nobody wants to be accused of doing something right. they haven't done, let alone something illegal, let alone having an accusation go through an attorney that they didn't have any right to talk to to begin with. So the whole and thing is I go, Madam Chair. I got two phone calls from the public. Yeah. Madam Chair. Um, Ed, are you all right with Sauer? Are you? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. You Did you want to speak now or you want to wait? Yes. Yes. I will allow her to, to rebut. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so first of all, um, I never, okay, accused anyone of going to someone's house. So where that all came into play, I have no idea. And Donna, if you spoke to Gari, I'm sure she either forwarded the email or read exactly what was in there. So I don't know what you guys are talking about as far as physical, okay? So, and then as far as coming together as a whole, and, and I would like to know where that came from as far as a physical um, meeting, just as we meet together on Zoom like this, okay, you could easily meet, okay? The way it was presented was as a whole, not individually. Absolutely, you. everybody has every right to do and say as they want as an individual. The issue I had was it coming together as a whole, as a quorum, as a team, as a board. That was the issue I had, and that's how it was presented on the all the different pages that I had um, seen. Now, I never accused anyone of meeting or physically going to someone's house or that person coming to your house. So I would actually like to know where that came from. Well, I think everything snowballs. The fact of the matter is, um, I did talk to Gary. She contacted me regarding it, and um, her her the first concern she had is that you contacted her by email and stated that you felt that we had violated the um, open meetings act. Um, That, that was the first thing it was that, that baffled me. If you're part of a board um, and you're, you're a team player, why in the world would you take this to the lawyer um, Mm -hmm. And not bring it to, if not to the board president, to anyone else on the board that you felt you need to talk to, even a, to the no. superintendent, anybody else. You, but you felt that you needed to go to the to the lawyer about this, which was inappropriate to begin with. You cannot go to the attorney. I can't say it any clearer. It's in policy. You cannot go to the attorney. The Madam president Chair. of the board can, and the superintendent can. That's it. Madam Chair. Yes. So to answer that question, because on more than one occasion, okay, the board has violated the Open Meetings Act. So much so that Gari actually had to come and provide us more detailed information and review with us. All right, you can perhaps that I'm not going to argue about more than one occasion as as you know nothing specific. More than one occasion, things happen. It may have happened. There may have been. And, and there's there's a lot of biased opinions. I'm talking right? about this situation today. You going to Gari, sending an email saying, oh, the board might have violated the you know, Open Meetings Act, like you're trying to get us in trouble. You're one of us. You're part of the board. Instead of tattling, why didn't you come and say, I think we messed up. We shouldn't do this. I mean, Mrs. Ansonek, if yeah. I may, I challenge the fact that this board has violated the Open Meeting Act since it was brought to our attention that we should not be texting and sharing information, which we did fully admit we did. Mm -hmm. And since Gary said that, I challenge anyone to find one time since Gary had that meeting with us that it has happened. It has not. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Is there any, I mean, so it's not, this isn't a matter of debate. 
right at this point. To be perfectly honest, this is a matter of the fact that you have been saved being censured because I, call, I spoke with board members and said, perhaps I, we can talk about this, make it clear, and, um, and let her know this can't happen again. Um, Madam because, President? Oh, yes. Is this, do you hear me? Yes. Okay. I've been calling out for about 10 minutes, and I had to hang up and dial back in. Okay. I, I have something very important to say. I have been out with a broken ulna and radius. I was in the hospital. I have seen no one for eight weeks. I thought that I have treated Sala with undying respect and been a, a, a friend to her. If she had something to tell me, I had no idea that there were people that I knew running for this office. I got a phone call at my home from a person that I've known since they were a senior in high school that I became close with and asked for an endorsement. And of course I said, yes, I had no idea of anyone else being involved in it. And I very, very, was very hurt and affronted that it was accused that we got together and did some, some silent uh, against the Fawazas. It was, it was ridiculous, and I am done with putting up with this. And I'll tell you, I said, censure her, because that is wrong that you did that. And everybody else kind of felt the same way, but we decided, no, you're, you're new, relatively, and we would give you one chance not to do that again. But you heard a lot of people in this, Zawa, and you need to know it. I would do nothing that you accuse me of. Colleen, I don't know if you were on the line when uh, we talked about this, but I never no, accused No, I got you. off. I, they, they, oh. I, somehow something messed up. Hold on. Colleen, I never accused anyone of physically meeting together. Okay. And the whole thing oh, about well. the house that people brought up, that's what I asked everyone on the team who brought that up because I certainly haven't heard about that. Well, yeah, well, I would I was love told to know that too. I was in a basement voting against, uh, right. you know, it, something. It is what, that is what yeah, has been said. So who, can but, someone tell me who brought that up? You Madam know, what, I'm not going to concentrate. Hang on one second. I'm not going to concentrate on the one issue that you can bring up and say, I never said that. I'm concentrating on the fact that you went to the attorney and said, I believe they that they the violated board. the Open Meetings Act. That's oh that, that's for real. That's happened. That's that's something you did that should have an answer. And you seem to avoid that because you keep wanting to bring up something that you're you say you're innocent of. Nadia, go ahead. No, I just wanted to say if the accusation is that we all uh, met through Zoom or whatever, uh, bring show me, show me where, show me where. I'm sorry. Say that again. I missed that. I said if you have proof that we all met electronically, show me where. So I can't I, believe I, that the accusation was. And again, it did not happen. I, and I have privately talked to some board members, but it has been, frankly, about my health or checking how Donna's mom or Colleen's mom is, something to right. that effect, um, checking how Ed was because he's home alone most of the time. I have never discussed with any one of those board members my endorsement or non-endorsement of anybody. So ditto. Ev every ditto. single ditto ditto. Every Same single Kelly. person, every uh -huh. single person has the right to vote for whoever they want. One hundred percent, I agree with you. Okay, but I still would like to know. I never made the accusation physically, even electronically, in the email. Okay, the presentation of it suggested something occurred. I would still like. To me. I'm, you're I losing would, me. You're losing I would me. Still like to know. I would still like to know who said that. Who said the the issue about meeting at the person's house? Yes. Or you know, I don't know where it came from. Zoom. I don't know. I, these things snowball. I don't know where it came from. Um, it's like telephone. All know, yeah. All I know is that um, what Gary said to me. That's all I know. It's what Gary told me. And, um, right. and that's what I'm, I, I, whatever the five, the five people in, in one person's house, 
that is so ridiculous. I can't even entertain it. What really, what really is, is <laughs> as I repeated, my issue is the fact that you went to the lawyer again when you weren't supposed to, that you accused the board of possible Open Meetings Act violation, and you never came to anybody on the board and said, hey, I think we might have violated the Open Meetings Act. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you come to a fellow board member? Why would you call the attorney? What was your goal there? If you and want frankly, to do Mrs. Ansonek, I will not libel the <laughs> two people that contacted me, and neither of them said where they heard it other than they heard it. Yeah. And I do have it in text, but I will not libel them or slander them yeah. any more than I appreciate being slandered. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, it's just um, unconscionable. I, I, I would never. Mm. Ed, did you want to say something? Yeah, I'm. I'm just going to say okay. one thing because I had an op. I wanted to give everyone the opportunity to speak because you know sometimes I can talk a little long. I'm just no. going to say this because everything was 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 made very very clear. Um, <clears throat> I did receive a phone call from uh, a, a candidate in regards to my endorsement for uh, his uh, run for <laughs> office, which he's currently holding uh, with the Wayne County Commission. This is a person that I've known uh, since he was a student at St. Linus, I believe, kindergarten, uh, and have known his entire family, his mother Lily, his father David, who was one of my bosses, and uh, and his brother. Anyways, um, I will be very candid with you and let you know that I, I, I endorsed him. I have no problem with it. I would endorse him for any office that he would seek here in the state of Michigan. There was no meeting that took place uh, involving myself or any other members of this board uh, at anyone's home or any inclandestine place or wherever. There was never anything that was done electronically as was stated by Nadia. Show me proof. And the other portion is if it was done electronically, it can be searched. And if you want my phone number, you got it. I have a district uh, computer. You can look up the IP address. Whatever you want to use to, to see whether or not I did, there was no meeting. There was no meeting involving myself and any other board members. Um, I think what's really important here is that, and it was stated by the board president, that you know this is a very uh, cohesive team, and, and at least it has been up until probably the last 72 hours. And working collectively together to make this district what it is uh, with the current administration team that we have and where we sit today. We've worked very, very hard and uh, and we continue to push forward. That's that's what we have to do. It was stated by Salwa that um, the board in previous administrations did uh, speak and, and, and do things that may not have been proper and Council came in, advised, and as of that date moving forward, I can tell you right now that there's been no phone calls, no text messages. There's been nothing that that has happened regarding this board uh, that would violate the Opens Meetings Act at all. We have been above board, and I think that is not only for the guidance of our, our board president, but it also has to do with council and it also has to do with the fact that we have good leadership within our district. I think this is an opportunity for everyone to understand that we have to work together. If there is ever a question that anyone has, I think Madam President has said it very clearly, bring it to the board president. She or he, and in this case, she, uh, Madam President, has been very, very neutral, listens to everyone and will bring this forward. Uh, so that we can have this open dialogue, so we can have some some fr friendly discussion, and most importantly, so we can get what it is that's on the table cleared, so that we can move forward. Um, I think this is an opportunity for everyone to learn, and uh, and for everyone to clear the air. But there was never any secret meetings at anyone's homes or anything done electronically or in a clandestine place uh, that would have violated any laws because there, there's no one here, in, including Salwa, that I think we don't want to violate the law. We want to do what is best not only for ourselves, but most importantly for the district, for the students, and for this administration. Thank you. Madam Chair, one more time. 
Uh, I'm going to cheer. I raised my hand also. Um, I can't see it. I yet. can't see anything. I, I just really want to thank Ed for those kind words. Um, that I just want to thank Ed for what he said. I, I, that's that he, it was absolutely, uh, it was nice to hear. And it also has the benefit, not the part about me, but the other part about working together of being the truth. Um, now we've got other people that have wanted to say something, and that is. Who Madam is Chair, I raised yeah. my hand quite a long time ago. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. If I could. I do have a question. Um, is the school district going to incur a charge for legal advice or the phone call and time um, between Mrs. Fawaz and Gari? I don't know. Well, if that happens, because this was the second time, I do not think the board should be financially responsible. Okay. And yeah, I will I'm not sure. approve payment. I, I understand. I'm not sure if, if that's part of her being on a retainer. I do appreciate her calling me. She's she's real. Um, she's excellent at, at communicating with us. Um, but I will find out. And I will be honest. I have not had... Um, <laughs> bad feelings or actually fighting with Mrs. Fawaz until this point. I haven't had a specific reason to like or dislike her. Um, everyone on this board knows that Nadia and I had our issues before. We have come past it and become what I feel to be close friends. I now, on a personal note, have reasons to feel differently, but I'm perfectly professional to act with every board member in a professional, productive way. Thank you. One more thing, Madam Chair. Yes, ma'am. I think too that the superintendent should be kept out of this because we are his boss and he should not be thrown into the mix. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I would ask him to do the same. Mm -hmm. yes. he, um, he doesn't need, he's got enough that he's working on. He doesn't need to be in the middle of this kind of nonsense. This is, this is ridiculous. But a simple phone call to any one of us, we wouldn't be here. I mean, discussing this. Absolutely not. I, and, and we're all open to that. That's anytime. right. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Um, if there's are there other, any other comments? Yes, Madam President. Yes, sir. Uh, just one quick note. Um, I would like to call a finance committee meeting uh, to be held next week. Um, if um, we can come up with a date, I, I'm pretty open to anything, but uh, the sooner the better to help uh, facilitate some uh, operational procedures that are taking place in the uh, business management department. And this is per penny. Okay. okay. That's um, Nadia and Sue, right? Yes. Yes. Um, Short of my surgery day, I'm available. Obviously earlier in the week is better for me. Um, and if I can't make it, I mean, I can make it via phone in the hospital unless it's surgery day. Well, which I probably could make honest, it anyways. The, feel the well. one, yeah, the one thing um, that we don't, we haven't had to do much of when since we've gotten you know more board members is the committees are made of three people. If one right. of the people can't come, we I just you call me and I put in a substitute. I mean, that's okay, thank you. Difficult, and I would be willing to, Donna. If if thank I'm you. not working. Okay. Okay. Thank and you. It works out. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday um, would be fantastic, but if people can't do Tuesday, that's just Tuesday's my is fun. Tuesday's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, what time? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm Take sorry, I'm just pick. making dinner. Tuesday, what time? Take your pick. Uh, would anyone Five. like three or four o'clock in the afternoon? That's fine. four. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Four Tuesday, four o'clock, Madam President, a uh, finance committee meeting with myself. Uh, uh, Sue and Nadia and the business manager, Penny Morgan. Very good. And Madam Chair, um, uh, Penny will communicate with Kristen and Kristen will get that posted. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um, okay. That wraps that up. Is there anything else we need to wrap up? If not, we could have a motion for adjournment. So so motion to adjourn. Uh, we have a motion. Support. Mr. Garcia, what's for dinner? <laughs> uh, salmon, broccoli, uh, cabbage salad, strawberries, and a protein shake. Mm. Oh, that sounds lovely. 
I'm not all really for me. Yeah, all for me. you. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there at 845. Okay, who did, who did <laughs> motion from uh, Mr. Garcia, uh, supported Support. by Nadia. Nadia. Yes. To be adjourned. All in favor? Aye. 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 You want to stay on this thing? Nope. Thank, all you. Right. Thank you. We are adjourned. Have a good evening, Bye, everyone. Thank you.